morning, uh, good evening, rather. It's Thursday, June 2nd, Thursday, June 2nd. Um, I'm gonna kick off this vlog now, I guess. Um, and we'll just see what I get up to over the next week. I've, um, it's 5.30 p.m. I've just finished recording some audiobook auditions. I have narrated and produced two audiobooks and I would like to do another one. Um, this is my lovely microphone. I am about to head to rehearsal. I don't rehearse until seven, but I need to get some gas and some lunch. I had a really late breakfast today, so I never really ate lunch. So I'm gonna get like a little lunch. Here's the sitch is I've unpacked all my kitchen stuff here, my plates. They actually don't fit in. I wanted to put like bowls up here, plates down here, but as you can see, doesn't fit. I'm gonna get probably like a little rack for those so I can sit them up sideways. I don't, this way. <laughs> and I also, I was putting my utensils like in this drawer, but not all of them can fit. Like my whisk doesn't fit in there and stuff. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna get a little cup to just put like right here um, to have those. So tomorrow, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have a self tape to film tomorrow. I'm supposed to start my job soon. Um, so that's very exciting. I was meant to start tomorrow, but I don't think all my paperwork's gonna go through in time. So maybe I'll start this weekend. Um, and that's what we got going on. So off to gas and food and rehearsal. Hello. Today is, well, actually it's a bit of a sore subject right now because it is 12.15 in the morning on Tuesday morning. So I'm finishing my Monday guess starting my Tuesday. I've just gotten home from rehearsal and I had to pick some stuff up from the grocery store um, because I'm really hungry and even though it's midnight I never eat dinner so I'm gonna make dinner because hot girls eat three meals a day. I've chopped all my veg and my water is cooking. I don't really know what I've last updated regarding the apartment situation but we're fully functioning, people. Look at what I got. Boom. This fridge, it's adorable. And in this adorable fridge, look what I found. Well, I didn't find it here, I bought it and put it in there. Rice Krispie Treat coffee creamer. Coffee creamer. This past weekend, nothing crazy happened. I had workshop with my theater company, but this week is a super exciting week and I will tell you why. Um, today I had rehearsal and we did photos for the show. Um, so if those are out by the time I'm editing this, I'll put them here. They're not, go look at my Instagram in a while. I'm sure I'll put them up unless I look absolutely vile. Or and tomorrow I, oh, I, um, over, over the weekend, I um, got a contract to produce another audiobook. So I have just started recording that. So tomorrow I will work a bit on that. And then I start my new job. I will be working at Starbucks, <laughs> which is funny because I'm wearing a Dutch Bros sweatshirt, but I'm actually so stoked. I love working in coffee. That's why I worked at Dutch. And when I was like in middle school and early high school, literally my two dream jobs were like Dutch Bros and Starbucks. And now I'm gonna have both. And I'm really excited. So I'm starting at Starbucks tomorrow. Wednesday I have acting class, which is always a fun time. I got a really awesome scene back from acting class this weekend from last week. Um, and then I'm working again. And then rehearsal. And then Thursday, providing all works out, the gang and I, I believe we'll be going to Six Flags. So that will be a fun addition to the vlog. And then Thursday evening, I have an in-person audition for another play. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, so it's a good week. It's shaping up to be a really good week. I know I've been in LA about two months now, officially this week, which, oh my goodness, two whole months. But it really feels like I'm like starting now. 
um, which is great because the last two months have been awesome with like getting the lay of the land and finding out where I want to live and getting an apartment and like self-taping a bunch and figuring out what acting class I want to do and figuring out where I want to work and stuff. Um, I guess I was only there five weeks, so I should cut myself a little bit of slack. So five weeks it took to figure that out. And now I can just do it. Yeah. Also, some other exciting stuff. At the end of the month, um, Tommy and I are going to a wedding. We're going to Sam and Jacob's wedding in Oregon. See all of our friends in Oregon. I'm going to see my family again for a bit, which I have barely been gone, but I really miss them already. Um, I did not get enough time with my sister. I literally saw her for a day. Um, so I'm excited to see her for another day. Um, it's going to be a good summer. The one thing I need to do is tan. Because I'm a pale lady. And oh yeah, you're right. Thursday, June 9th. I watched yeah. this. We're at Six Flags Ooh. with the entire yellow group. <laughs> I don't know who they are. The yellow group. Fit check. Fit check. Fit check. I almost died. How, you, feel, how you feeling? Oh, it's on uh, cinematic mode. I'm missing the Simpsons. I kind of like that. Okay, how are you guys feeling? Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Why don't the baby boomers? I'm not that Next no, it's good. Being upside down? No, you're you're not upside down. You're definitely upside down. No, you're hanging. What do you mean? Well, you're just hanging feet dangling? Yeah. We're on the water run. We're on the water run. Nerds. What's up, nerds? Kyle, wait for my vlog! That was a very fun day. I didn't really, well I got footage, but I went to Buffalo Wild Wings after I did not get footage of that. Um, but oh my God, it was, first of all, it was 98 degrees today. So I'm not really like, I love roller coasters and I don't really get sick, but I was feeling so sick after some of the roller coasters just cause it was like so hot. Um, we brought water and went through all of it super fast. But if anyone's ever been to Six Flags, there was this ride there called the X2. And when I tell you that I am fully a different person after riding it than I was before I was riding it. I... <sighs> I've been on a lot of roller coasters in my days and I've never, never felt what I felt on that ride. It was wild. Um, and apparently Tommy's biggest fear is roller coasters. And I knew this, but <laughs> bless him, seeing him today. I've never seen him like that. He was nervous, but he did all of them. He killed it and he had fun. And then I actually just had an audition, an in-person audition, very fun for a play, um, short little play. It was fun. Um, yeah, so I just went in, did a monologue, left, really happy with it. It was great. So now I'm gonna go home um, and hang. Also, I started at Starbucks yesterday and it was a blast. I had so much fun. I was just out there making my coffee, doing what I love to do. It was super fun. We had a couple crazy incidents happen. Um, right when I got there, um, a homeless man, I'm, that's an assumption, but a man off the street um, walked in with an apron, a Starbucks apron, and um, said that he was transferring from another store and was ready to start. He wasn't. Then I met some characters in my shift. I work along um, Hollywood Boulevard and that, I mean, it's Hollywood Boulevard. It's where the Walk of Fame is, where the theater is, the Dolby Theater, the Grauman's Chinese Theater, very touristy. And so we get some characters in there. So we had a few characters. And then when I was leaving, um, a woman, bless her not here on something was trying to get into the stock room when I was I was like leaving and she like tried to follow like come back in and I was like oh I'm I'm so sorry you can't you can't go back there and she was well why can you go back there and I was like I work here but it was super fun everyone was really really nice and I picked it up really fast um because I love Starbucks and I've been making coffee for years and so it's it's easy when you've been making coffee and you already kind of know the menu. Oh. 
what I've realized is that I fully have a tripod and a ring light and I never use it to vlog. I'm doing my hair, I haven't brushed out yet, it's just so it's not gonna look like this. But basically it's June 12th, Sunday, June 12th. Um, this morning I worked from six to one um, and the pride parade was today, it came by my street. Um, and or came by the street of the shop that I work at. Um, so that was really, really fun. And I have two more self tapes to film. And I'm very sad because I'm now fixing my hair and makeup, but look at my cute little eyeliner. I had red eyeliner for Pride, and now that I'm filming two self tapes, I've got to take that off because I don't think it's really appropriate for the self tapes. I can't say anything about one of them. I have to sign an NDA, but it is extremely up my alley like extremely, so. And I'm also really hungry right now. So I may have to get a little snack before I film because you can't film on an empty stomach, especially not what I'm about to get up to. I'll probably wrap up the vlog this evening or tonight, maybe right here. If this is it, if this is the last thing I film for the week, then this is it. Happy, happy Sunday Eve. Happy Pride, have a good week. Learning lines on the beach, so it's like, yeah. Bitch put on a shirt, meh. Got a little bit of footage, but like not a lot because I was working, um, making them drinks. Clumpity dumpity. That's not a thing.